Have you ever been asked to give a friend an intuitive reading and just cringed inside? Like a part of you went, yeah, but then a part of you went, no, 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 I don't want to do it. And what about the times when you did an intuitive reading and it went spot on and perfect, probably for a friend because you were really relaxed and didn't really care. Maybe you had a couple of champagnes as well, huh? Because that really helps. And there's a secret to this and it's called relax. Relax, don't do it when you want to get to it. Relax. Don't do it. It's actually about relaxing and it is the most simple tip, but it's the best one I could possibly offer you when you are just starting out. Sure, it's easy for me to say relax, right? When you're probably thinking that's the furthest thing from my mind when I'm going to do an intuitive reading. But think about the times when they were really successful because I bet there was a few things going on. You probably let go of the outcome. It was probably a really good friend and you didn't matter because you were just playing around. That's the secret. If we can get more play into our readings, the better they're going to be. Think about it. When you're playing, you're relaxed, you're already in that alpha brainwave state that we need to be when we hook into our intuition. And when we're playing, we don't really care if it's right or wrong. You know, it's okay to mess up. And that is a gorgeously relaxed way to approach all intuitive readings. So how do we get relaxed? Practice. It just sounds so simple. Letting go of the outcome. We're just having a go, we're just tuning in and it's okay to be wrong. And as soon as we realize that it's okay for us to be wrong, we can kind of forgive ourselves and just let go. I did have a friend who called herself the champagne medium and she was fabulous after a couple of glasses of bubbly. She could talk about anything and get all sorts of accurate information all the time. And I met her on a mediumship retreat and guess what happened? As soon as the bubbly was out of the picture, she couldn't do it anymore. She really started to get worried. She's like, oh my God, I've lost it, I've lost it. What happened was she didn't lose it. She lost the ability to let go. She lost that, oh, it's gonna be all right kind of feeling. And that was the essence of the thing that was making her really successful. So after a couple of days, she realized what she'd done, kicked back into her old relaxed self and she was spot on and amazing again. So how do we get accurate and amazing and relaxed and, and let go before an intuitive reading? Well, if you're a member of the Psychic Playground Facebook community, it's really easy because we have play dates. A play date is exactly that. It's meant to be a fun way to access your intuition so that when we're playing and we're just having a game, we're actually able to bypass all that worry, all the second guessing, all the, oh my God, or what if it's right? And we access our intuition so much quicker. So if you're not already a member of the Psychic Playground, please come and join. There'll be a link below and we'd love to see you. All you need to do is get into that search bar, type in hashtag playdate and you'll be able to access all of them. And there's also a PDF file in the file section up the top so you can download them all, click the one you want and have a look at it straight away. It's kind of like free intuitive training available anytime, anywhere. Sound good, right? So if you'd like an easy way just to play around and play with your intuition, maybe you've done the quiz already and you're looking for that next step, come and join us in the Psychic Playground and access those play dates. Remember it's a hashtag play date. Just type that into the search bar and you'll get straight onto them. And if you love this video, subscribe. Cool. Oh, this is nice. Cheers.